getting into Dylan Brooks' suspension. He was suspended Saturday's Game Called 3 it. without pay. Called it. For making what the league said was unnecessary and excessive contact with Gary Payton II in Game 2. The result of which was a broken elbow for the Warriors guard, Gary Payton II. So here's the sound from Freddie and Fitzsimmons. The moment I heard that Gary Payton II has fractured elbow, done for the extended period of time, as you mentioned, I said, here comes the overreaction, and he's going to get suspended. Because I think intent goes a long way and should carry some weight. Should. Mm -hmm. Does it? No. But I think it should. But if I, I firmly believe if Gary Payton II doesn't get hurt, he's not suspended. I'm confused by what Ian is talking about with intent. Because I thought his intent was pretty clear through his actions. He wasn't making a basketball play. He was going to whack the hell out of GP2. He's not even looking at the ball, Max. He hits him over the head. There's the big wind-up. And I get it. I understand they want to set a physical tone because the Memphis Grizzlies got punched in the mouth in game one by Golden State. They felt like they let one get away on their home court. I understand the mentality. But there's no place for taking a shot at a guy, especially when he's defenseless and in the air. I thought it would be a multi-game suspension for twofold. Number one, it wasn't a basketball play. The second thing is, after what we saw with Draymond Green on Brandon Clark to flagrant two, and then what we saw early on in game two with not only Dylan Brooks, but Xavier Tillman elbowing Draymond in the face, his eye bleeding, having to be checked out for concussion symptoms, It means that the league and the refs have to get a handle on this series before things continue to escalate because we have too many incidents where guys are defenseless and could potentially get hurt. So I thought that the league would be heavy-handed to send a message to both teams in this series, but to also send a message to the rest of the teams in the playoff field. So after the game, uh, when I was in Memphis, I got a lot of hate from Memphis fans because I declared that I thought he should be suspended for game three. And I heard from people around the NBA – in the NBA, that that was going to happen. I think the NBA got it correct on this one. Mm. I do think the NBA got it incorrect on the Draymond Green. I thought he should have been suspended for game two, to be frank with you. If you look at the videotape, there's a reverse image out there. Let me tell you guys about hand-eye coordination. If we're playing CC, my hand-eye coordination is different than yours, to a degree, right? Mm -hmm. Because I I, I focus on the basketball, on quick hands and swiping down. If you look at the video of the first one with Draymond Green and Brandon Clark, when Brandon Clark goes up for it the first time, the ball is extended a little bit with his elbows. Now, quick eye-handed coordination, I can swipe down on the ball. I know exactly where the ball is at. I'm going for the ball. I might hit your wrist. I might hit your forearm, but I'm not, I'm not hitting anything else. You're not winding up. Draymond Green swipes at the face, and then it goes down into the ball. That was deliberate. Of course. I don't care what anybody tells me as a hooper, as a guy that swiped at thousands of I'm not going to say that because I would say phrasing on myself. <laughs> As a guy that swiped down on thousands, right? <laughs> I don't call myself phrasing. out. I got it. Ah, I got it before you caught me, ah, I'm a winner. <laughs> yes. So yes, yes, yes. Anyway, I'm just trying to tell you, like, it was hey, easy to yo. swipe down on it, okay? And then the, the jersey pull on top of that, the thing that people are trying to give him credit for is like the, the fake, I got you at the end. Oh, no, My no, dude no, was no. already on he the ground. He knew he went too so far, yeah. I'm saying the NBA got it correct on Brandon, Brandon Clark, uh, correct on Dre. Dylan Brooks. Agreed. Right? They got it incorrect on Draymond Green. Yeah, Jay. I'm staying with Jay, that. I hear he should have got suspended for games. I hear right. where you're coming from, Jay. Not, not just a flavor, too. I'm not too. saying that he should. First of all, he should have got suspended just with the way he exited game one because that was absolutely ridiculous. Going full Antonio Brown. Without, he just Ooh, didn't take the jersey Antonio off. Full Antonio Brown. That's exactly what yeah, he did. He that, went full Antonio Brown. He just didn't take analogy. the jersey off, but it yeah. was absolutely ridiculous. That's it not was, full Antonio. It's half Antonio. It half was, Antonio Brown. It was the optics of it that yes. looked so bad after the fact. But what I will say is this. Those two fouls ain't the same. With Dylan Brooks, it's worse. There, was mo- there was more of a windup. Oh, you know, was, I know it, it was yeah, aggressive. It was more egregious. Dylan Brooks didn't even leave his feet, Jay. Yeah. He's, he's sprinting oh, full speed. I, I'm in agreement with you. Winds up. Hits him in I'm in the agreement head. with you. But, but here, so here, if you're saying Draymond Green should get one game, what the heck should Dylan Brooks get? I'll tell no, you as but, a fan but, but, what, what a fan's going to say. If I'm a fan of the Warriors, I don't want to see Dylan Brooks out there again until my guy's out yeah. there again. But That's me, how I feel. But let, me, but let me tell you real quick about, about Draymond. Draymond's really slick, man. Like, I'm going to give you real Hooper talk. Have you ever played with a dude and be like, yo, yo, you, you okay? I know you ain't worried about me being okay. Yeah. 
I know you ain't really worried about me being okay. Yeah. You barking at so I let, let's not act like we don't know what time it is with how Dre can play scenarios. He's a master manipulator, bro. Sure. Like and also think about this. Think about how he controlled the narrative, which is brilliant on his part. I give him a I, I emergency him. podcast. Not emergency podcast. Let me tell y'all what time it is and what really Guys. happened an hour after the incident happened. It's genius on his part. Jeff Van Gundy was on this show yesterday, and I thought he made a really good point I want to play for you. I think the play that Dylan Brooks committed was reckless. But I have been remiss, as has a lot of media members, I think, been remiss in addressing this throughout the year. This horizontal club swing to try to block shots has been around for a while now. And when it misses the head and gets the ball for a block shot, we talk about what a great play it is. Yeah, what about that, right? So like, good. it's something that's – if you happen to hit the ball, oh, good defensive play. That should be that should be legislated against, right? Like, you should get that get that move out. Max, in order to hit the ball, you probably got to see the ball. Right. This guy wasn't even looking <laughs> no, at no, the ball. No, no, wasn't even looking. No. no. By the way, that was, like, the slowest club. The I mean, he had his, down, his hand down. It felt like for, like – Three seconds before I mean, he even I, hit him. I thought he was about to put some baby powder on it. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean that's like, <laughs> before he slapped the hell out of somebody, this horizontal swipe. I guess that's the new the new way to say slap the hell out of somebody. <laughs> horizontal swipe. <laughs> what did the five fingers say to the face? Slap. Horizontal swipe. <laughs> <laughs> slap. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, it's absolutely ridiculous what Dylan Brooks did, and the part that hits home is what Steve Kerr said after game two about Dylan Brooks and how breaking hard the code. he worked. By the way. Well, not, not just with breaking the code, but how hard he worked to get to this point all right, to guys. find a home. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.